हेलो यूट्यूबर्स वेलकम टू सी प्रोग्राम आई एम स्वरूप एंड वेलकम अगेन सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डील अपॉन डील अपॉन थ्री बेसिक क्वेश्चन आस्क बाई एवरी वॉट वाई हाउ वॉट इज प्रोग्रामिंग और इन जनरल वॉट इज कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग वॉट वाई डू वी नीड सी लैंग्वेज और एनी अदर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज फॉर दैट मैटर लाइक सी प्लस प्लस सी शार्प जावा फाइथन और वॉट एवर and how are we going to program so in this tutorial i'll cover all these questions so the first question what is programming well the google's definition of computer programming says like this creating a sequence of instructions to enable the computer to do something so we want the computer so we want the computer to to do something for us and we tell that to the computer using some sequence of instructions and how do we write that instructions well, obviously using keyboard we write those instructions and feed it into the computer so the second question i hope i am i have clarified the first question what why do we need programming what is programming so the second question is why do we need c language we have a lot of normal languages like english french japanese hindi chinese spanish whatever language we have but how can why can't we program in those languages and why do we need to invent certain languages like c c++ python it's all time consuming right so why do we need a programming language well we need c language because we can't obviously use normal languages for some problems they have so the basic problems of a normal language is ambiguity natural languages are always ambiguous they are all perspective like they uh, each person can derive his or her own meaning from a given statement these for example let's say the word color british english uses the spelling c o l o u r while the american english simplified it to c o l o r so these sort of ambiguities always exist so it's impossible to uh, use a normal language as a computer programming language because we don't want the computer output to be ambiguous right we always want the computer to give a certain output for a certain input we do not we do not want to the computer to get confused so that is why we can't use a normal uh, uh, language as a programming language the other problem of a normal language is where because a simple thing is explained in a lot of with a lot of emphasis in normal languages not in all languages but in most of the languages but in programming we don't consider that to be good programming we want the code the program code to be to be as simple as possible fewer words would be good always so again how are we going to program in c this is the third question well this is a typical c program this is how it looks c program this is how it looks here you can see main float print scan print these all although we can find out small english terms in it we can't and it all looks gibberish right unless and unless until we know a bit of programming it all though it contains english though it, a normal computer cannot understand this language so for that we need something called a compiler a compiler basically a compiler basically converts this sort of english this this is not actually english right this is partial english plus partial so this into machine understandable thing so this is what a compiler does it takes this and converts it into a Com uh, computer understandable information and in addition to compiler we also need a text editor right we have to write our code somewhere in, in addition to text editor we also need something called a linker we will see what a linker does in the subsequent tutorials so basically till now we have seen you have to remember that we need a compiler a text editor and a linker to write a program and get it executed in c or in any, any other language so how to how are we going to program in c and we have seen that we need three of these things compiler a text editor and a linker well but it all it is always 
good to have all these all these three at a place at once it's like three in one so they develop so they developed something called an ide short for integrated development environment an ide consists of all these three with few other extra things which makes programming simpler for these tutorials i will be using an ide so that it makes programming even more simpler so what are we using till just now i said that i'm using an ide so what is that ide i'm using so for these tutorials we will use an ide called c35 so this is its logo so this is its logo c35 is can be uh, freely downloaded at least i mean the trial version of it can be freely downloaded but if you want it you can buy it it's not that much costly it's relatively cheap so you can buy it and in fact the next tutorial is completely devoted to downloading and installing <coughs> this ide well for the linux users out there there is one advantage you can have is that all the linux based oss are written using c program c programming they are based on c program so all these c programming all these linux oss have an inbuilt c compiler in them so you don't need to have a c free or anything any other ide for that matter you can directly use your notepad and save them and compile them and you can get the output so for the linux users you can use that but it's always good to use an ide and for the windows and mac users well you have to use the ide even for the linux users it would be good to use this ide c free so that you can follow along with these tutorials so i think that's it for this tutorials the next tutorial will be how to install and download c free so watch that and if you like this video give a thumbs up and give a thumbs up and if you have any doubt or if you want comment it below and so that's it for this tutorial goodbye thanks for watching this is swarup signing off bye bye